of course, David Moyes getting his first points back at Everton uh, with West Ham this time with a goal to nil. Thomas Suchek, the winner for the Hammers Everton after four wins in a row, suffering defeat at Manchester United, as we have said. Uh, ten unbeaten, they've beaten Aston Villa by two goals to one. Uh, Jose Mourinho's Tottenham uh, get things underway on Saturday at home to Leeds. Arsenal finish it away at West Brom and then three games on Sunday, including Chelsea against Manchester City at the bridge. And the match week completed with the champions Liverpool going to Southampton in the Monday Night Football. So as Phil and Michael were saying, Manchester United, 33 points, level with Liverpool. And at the beginning of November, they were nine points behind the reigning champions. Now they are level and they are four clear of Leicester and Everton. Villa still on one of those teams on 26 points that do include West Ham after their win earlier on. The quickly taken free kick. Yes, and I think Manchester United will be disappointed with the way they defended the free kick in, in particular. I think Martial there's got to stand on the ball uh, and let wan get into position. As he does, and it leaves Grealish on his own. Ball gets crossed in. Fantastic first touch from Traore. Brilliant with his right foot. You see here, we, we think there, Phil, that probably should just stop that free kick. Well, he's going to sprint back into his position. That, he's got Martial there that will block the quickly taken free kick, and he's just got to sprint back into position. The minute he doesn't, Grealish gets into the box, backs off from McTominay. That touch from Traor is brilliant. And, and Villa, to be fair, deserves something, uh, a goal from the game for all their endeavours. It was an open second half, Michael, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a, it, it was a good, good watch, to be fair. Uh, it could have gone either way. Uh, I've always felt Manchester United just had the upper hand. Um, but a couple of little details like this, you know, just basic things like not... Sometimes it, it might mean that you get a yellow card if you stand on it and, and block it, but it means that, that your man's going to get back and pick up his man. So, yeah, a, a couple of little things there. Obviously, the penalty was the, was the next um, decision to, to look at, but, no, it was, uh, it was a good game, and uh, it could have gone either way, as I said, even to the last minute. Any debate about the awarding of the penalty? No, no, I think it was a, it was a good decision from Michael Oliver. There was a clash of legs, just a clip on the back, uh, back of Paul Pogba. Uh, he did really well from the throw, you see there, he just opened up that, uh, his left-hand side, let the ball run across him. Now he's grappling with him. And he just clips his legs there, Louise. He's unlucky. He's unlucky because he's trying to get in front of him. You see there, his arms are coming across him. So big, uh, Paul Pogba. There, just a little clip there. Unlucky, but it was a penalty. Michael? Yeah, I think it was a penalty. You know me. I'm, uh, I'm <laughs> just do. not quite sure on a lot of these little touches and people going down easily this season. But I thought that was enough for a penalty. And what did you think about the clinical finish from Bruno Fernandes? Well, you don't, you, you don't have any doubt that he, he's going to score. He's got a great uh, record. He's got a great style and technique from the penalty. Waits for the keeper to go. Uh, fires it into the corner. Look at him staring straight at the keeper. Fires it into that corner. And he's the man of the moment, really, at this moment in time. His style and technique change, though, for this one, Phil, because he normally does the big jump, yeah, doesn't yeah. he? And, the, uh, and he missed that one out this time and whipped it across. It was more like a Van Nistelrooy finish. Whacked it into that corner. Unstoppable. Now, let's, uh, let's leave this man to talk about finishing for a moment. What about defending that really wins points, as you keep telling me? Eric Bailly in the very last minute. Yeah, and us, us defenders don't get paid as much as the forwards, but ultimately, we, we do save games like this as well. No, it was brilliant defending. Look, it was a scramble. There was nervousness. There was panic. Maguire loses it. Davis, he just throws himself at the ball, Bailly. I love this bit, the clearance and then the drop to the knees, Michael, and everyone came, comes on and piles on him at the final whistle. It's fantastic. Not yeah. just goal scorers are allowed to do that, you know. Well, <laughs> it was all right. <laughs> <laughs> but what I did like was, was this, all the substitutions, all the substitutes, I should say, all the players all coming, and there seemed to be a what real tell you? a real team bond, you know, a real togetherness. And for a player that's been mm. out for a while, you know, I think there's, there's almost a little bit of empathy within the team to say, you're one of us as well now. Mm. Um, you're going to have a big, big part to play in this season. And I thought that was a telling sign. When a, when a squad are together like that. Do, do you know, there was 20 minutes to go in the Wolves game the other day, and you could just smell, you could smell there was a belief in the team. You, you know, Ollie put a couple of subs on. There was, there was shouting from the stands with the substitutions. There was that togetherness. You saw it again tonight. They, 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 they go back to 1-1. They get the penalty, and then they're putting the bodies on the line. There is, a, there is a different feel about this United team than what we've seen over the last three or four years. OK. Once again, though, 
The name of the match winner is a familiar one. Here he is, Bruno Fernandes.